We do not take this life for granted. This is insane. Some people say vloggers exaggerate. I don't, I hope we're not included in that because we genuinely don't. We are super grateful for all these opportunities that we get to come and see these amazing places. And they're also being kind enough to serve us lunch here at the table there. So even better, just what we need after a little bit of exercise this morning, some nice, some nice food. I'm not sure what we're having yet, but we'll show you. Time to cool off in the best way I know how, but I've not got any sun, well, I've got a tiny bit of sun cream on my shoulders. That's all I had left in the bottle that I could use to cover myself. Let's see, I hope it's cold, but I think it'll be warm. Oh, it's nice. It's fresh. Oh, nice. What? Oh, There's some steps going down. Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh, I've needed this for so long. Oh, it's beautiful. It's such a nice pool. Wow. Look at my view. It's an infinity pool that looks over to the jungle. It's epic. Oh, this is so nice. Fresh air. No noise apart from some birds and some leaves rustling. And whatever it, that is in that tree. Uh, and then it's like an infinity pool followed by another infinity pool. Very nice. George is just asleep on a sun lounger by the looks of things. No, he's not. He just turned and waved. <sighs> so nice. So it, it's, not, it's not a cold pool at all, but it's not so much that it feels like you're getting in a bath. It's actually colder than the sea was yesterday when we went in the sea. And that says a lot about how hot the sea is here, but... Ah, oh, Batangas is warm. Warmer than I ever remember it being. When we were last in Batangas, we went to Lipa and it was cold and it's a bit cooler there. But in the La Aya, La Aya area that we're in now, definitely a bit warmer. Such a nice pool though. Could spend hours here. And then in a minute, we're gonna get out, have some lunch and then maybe take another dip. Okay, I think I found my spot. I've come to the lower part and it's in the shade, so I can relax. Still be, oh, it's very wet. Sorry, I did duck it under. Still be in the water, but be in the shade almost. First course of lunch. Oh, look at this! This fresh buco. We didn't even ask for this, but they this must is, know us This well. is what we would have asked for. Oh, this is the freshest, straight from the tree. Warm. Mm. Maybe this tree, because this looks like some nice coconuts. This is what you want on a day like today. Hydration. Yeah, oh, that's one of our favourites. Yes, one. yeah. Um, that's fantastic. Why not? <laughs> Crispy patter is crispy. Crispy. Whoa. The crispy Look at that. Oh, they look so nice oh. inside. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, yeah. uh, that's what we need. <laughs> Doing this. <laughs> thank you. Your plate. Can I bring it over? Thank you. Yum. Okay, we've been treated to a feast here. This is unbelievable. Gonna leave these on because it's so bright and hot. This is um, family cooking. Crispy patter. Serve this up in a minute. Yes, please. Uh, whenever. You do yours first. Sweet and sour lapu lapu. So I'm going to try this first because I haven't had sweet and sour lapu lapu before. Mmm. Sorry. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, so good. I love sweet and sour sauce. Mmm. Crispy patter. Holy moly. Really? Lucy's digging into the crispy patter. The food they actually went and got from Kabayan Beach Resort down the road. Try some of the crispy patter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't had it in ages. I haven't had it for so long. Mm. Is it better than lechon? 
I feel like maybe Lechon gets all the press. Lechon gets all the credit, but crispy patter's like I think I prefer the actual meat and skin. No, maybe I prefer lechon skin, but I think I prefer the meat of crispy patter. It's a bit more of that like I don't know, like. I just love the texture of it. It's a bit less fatty as well. Mm. Mm. So crispy. Really good pork. Mm. Okay, that was delicious. We've now got dessert. I'm We've still got going. Lucy's still going with the main course. She's loving that crispy patter. We've got ube halaya, which is this. They sell this. Apparently, we can get this in BGC, and this is from this is from the Kabayan Beach Resort. Also, you can see just there. And apparently, what they told us this was is like the purest form of ube, which, mmm, I like this because it's not overly sweet, but I can pr I could pretty much quite easily eat this whole bowl. We've then also got Maha Blanca. Okay, <laughs> thanks. We then have another dessert called Maha Blanca, which we have to sprinkle this, which is like dried coconut over the top. Do you know what, I might just do this here. No, that looks good. That is, that's maybe a bit too much. That's gourmet. So now we have, Yum. Okay, let's let's try this. It's just Lucy and I having this, so we can just tuck in. Yeah. So this is like um, it's like a pudding. Mmm. Mmm. I think we had something like this around Christmas. I think it's like babinka. Really good. It's kakanin, right? Yeah, you're gonna love this. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm actually going to mix the two and have a bit of this. You're gonna make a sapin sapin? Sapin sapin. That's like layered, isn't it? You've is made it? your own. Oh yeah, nice. But get in here with this loose because it's so good. sunburnt from today I think a little bit I feel I feel hot even though it's been an aircon all the way home my face is a little bit red but we're back baby we're back that first flat white back mm. after not having your home comforts of oat milk for a few days delicious um, the drive back was good we didn't stop once we just bombed it all the way home it poured down with rain so much, actually I think Lucy filmed a few clips. So much so that you couldn't even really see where you were driving. So that was kind of interesting. Do I, I look sunburned, right? So yeah, weird. You need to shower and see yeah, how sunburned Yeah, I, I know. Up. Hopefully it'll just turn golden brown tomorrow. It will for you. Yeah. So yeah, the rain was really, really heavy, which was kind of weird. But it did do a good thing because the car was so dusty from that off-road driving that the car got soaking wet cleaned off all the dust and then because we were still driving when the rain stopped it kind of air dried it off so now the car looks like we've had it washed so that might save me a job tomorrow but i'll probably still get it washed tomorrow maybe but i'm gonna say cheers to you if you're here i've been seeing all your comments guys watching till the end so thank you so so much we say at the end of every vlog comment if you've watched till the end we don't say it at the beginning because then there's going to be fake people out there commenting when they haven't but you we see your comments. If you're still here now, right at the end of the video, huge shout out to you, thank you so much. So fun to go on these trips. As I said on the, uh, as I said when we got back from the last trip, I'm exhausted from two days of adventure and vlogging and stuff, but I feel so lucky to be able to go and do stuff like that again, so it's awesome. Huge thanks to, huge thanks to the guys down in Batangas for having us for that trip. Cheers you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed these vlogs, and we'll see you very soon in another one. Bye.